Welcome to the online video that pairs with the technique department in each month's magazine. I'm Talmadge McLaurin, publisher of Florist Review. This month it's all about creating custom boxes for displays and also for arrangements. I love to go to the fabric store and you can find endless varieties of patterns and colors that can be your display or the container for your arrangements. But as you might have guessed, the trick to this is how do you apply the fabric really efficiently and neatly. I've got a couple of ideas. The first step after you've picked out your fabric is to measure how much fabric you're going to need to cover the box. So I just take this fabric, turn it on its backside out, and take my box and make sure that there's enough on either side with a little bit left over to fold in. Now I'm going to mark the box by taking a pencil and going all the way around the bottom and then I'm going to take the straight side of the box and continue that line onto two sides. Now for the other two sides I want to make it just about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch wider. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Okay, so first I'm going to cut the two sides that are exactly the same size as the box all the way up to the bottom of the box. Turn it around, cut this side as well. Now, for the sides that have a little bit of extra fabric, I will cut that right up into there and pull that off. Now that I've got the fabric cut perfectly, I'm going to glue it onto the box with Design Master TAC 2000. It's a spray adhesive and the 2000 is the heavier glue of the two that are available. So I'm going to grab an old flower box I've been saving and I'll put that right down inside and take the spray adhesive and, con and coat the entire surface of the back side of the fabric. Now if your fabric blows up on you, which sometimes if it's really lightweight it will do, you can pin the fabric down so that you don't get glue on the front side. Now I'm going to wait just a little bit so the adhesive can set up and then set the box right in the middle where you've drawn. The next step is to take the wider sides and pull those up and wrap them around and then fold it over, pulling everything neatly down, the other side, wrap around, pull it on the inside of the box. Then when you pull up the two sides that are cut perfectly to the edge, there is a, there's no overlap. There's a little bit of a seam there that goes underneath, so you won't see any of the, the cardboard box underneath it, or the paper mache box underneath it. Then you can cover the lid of the box with a little piece of fabric in the exact same manner. One added tip, if you notice there's a little fraying on the edge of the box where the fabric is cut and you want to fix that, there's a couple of ways to do that. If there's a synthetic material within the fabric, you can take just a lighter and just Sear the edges lightly and that will stop it from raveling completely. If the fabric happens to be natural like an all cotton or an all wool, you can take Mod Podge, which is just really a white glue that's kind of thick, and just paint it on the edges. It will set up no fray. It's true that covering boxes with fabric is a favorite thing to do, but in Flower Styling, my book, you'll see a lot more favorite things that I like to do with fresh flowers. You can get your copy today by clicking onto the bookstore. We'll see you next time.